everyone. Welcome to Healing from Toxic. So today's video is dedicated to those people who are holding on to a person who they're not sure if he or she is a narcissist and you're waiting on a diagnosis by a therapist so that you can finally let go. This video is for you if this is your situation. I want to begin by saying that I've spoken to hundreds of survivors. I've spoken to a lot of people who were waiting, just like you, on a diagnosis by a therapist. And let me tell you, out of all of these people that I've spoken to, I have not heard not one situation, not one incident in which a narcissist was able to change after therapy, in which the narcissist was able to become a better partner, a loving partner. I have not heard not one situation in which a relationship was saved by going to therapy. I have not heard that. But you know what I have heard? I have heard how a narc will make you wait months, years before therapy actually occurs. I have heard how narcs, when you finally do go to therapy, are able to manipulate the therapist into believing that you are the problem. I have heard those stories. I have heard stories in which the therapist makes the survivor, the victim in the situation, believe that she is the problem, that he is the problem, which only adds to your torment and misery. I know that we are all adults here, and at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want, but I want you to listen to me. You don't need a therapist to validate what you feel. You don't need a therapist to do that. You don't need a therapist to save your life because right now, anyone who's in a relationship with a narcissist, you're in the fight of your life. You are, because every day that you're with a narcissist, you are living in hell. It's emotional hell. I know because I lived it. And for a little bit there, I too was waiting on a diagnosis until I realized I don't need anyone to tell me what I already feel in my heart. If you know that you're living in hell, if you know that you're going through an emotional hell every day with a person you don't need a therapist to tell you that you need to walk away from that, okay? If a person is putting you through anguish, that should be enough for you to know that person is not healthy for you. One of the things that happen, many things that happen when you're with a narcissist is that you begin to mistrust your own feelings you begin to lose trust in yourself, in your instincts, in your feelings. Narcs will do that. But it's very important for you to validate your own feelings. You don't need a therapist to do that. You do not need a therapist. Part of the reason why you feel like you need to go through to a therapist to get the answers for things to be confirmed is because you don't trust yourself enough to know that this doesn't feel right. I need to let go of this. And you feel like you need a professional human being, professional, because in a, lot, in a lot of cases, they're not prepared to deal with narcs. In a lot of cases, a lot of these therapists, if they're not specialized in narcissistic abuse, they won't know what to do with a narc, okay? So once again, you feel like you need that validation from a professional and you don't. You don't need a professional, you don't need a therapist, you don't need a counselor, you don't need anyone else for that matter to let you know that, okay, now you can walk away because I'm saying that he's a narcissist. You don't need that. Honestly speaking, 
So what if he or she is not a narcissist? So what? So what if they're not? Sometimes we get so caught up in the word, in the term, on the labels, that we forget that it's very simple. Life is really that simple. If a person doesn't listen to you, if a person disregards your emotions, if a person that you've already talked to and you've already said, okay, your actions hurt me, the things that you say hurt me, you hurt me, and they continuously do that, you have to believe those patterns. You have to believe that consistency that they have carried out through your entire relationship. Believe that, believe your feelings. Believe that you're feeling what you're feeling for a reason. God puts that in your mind, in your heart, because he wants you to move. He wants you to leave that person behind. And you don't need a therapist to let you know that this other person is killing you. This person is killing your self-esteem. This person is damaging you. We need to trust patterns of behavior. Anytime people continuously hurt you, continuously betray you, continuously shade you, continuously do anything that bothers you time and time again, and you talk to them, and you've had plenty of conversations, and you, you, you've expressed how hurt you are, and they continuously do that, it's no accident. It is not by mistake. They are doing that on purpose, and they don't care about how you feel. They don't respect you. I want anyone who's still with a narcissist or someone who you believe to be a narcissist to please don't wait on a diagnosis because you will wait a very long time before you finally walk away destroyed. Destroyed financially, emotionally, in many, many ways because that is what these people seek to do. Destroy you. They are your enemy. And you need to walk away and you need to save yourself and you don't need to wait on no diagnosis for you to make the decision to choose yourself. Because every time that you stay with a narc, you are hurting yourself, you're betraying yourself, you are failing yourself. This is the fight of your life. It is. Anytime that you are with a narcissist, you are fighting for your life. If you're staying with them, you need to fight. You need to fight for yourself, for your life, for your, for your self-love, for your peace. Please listen to me. I've talked to a lot of people that stayed, even after therapy, 30, 40, 50 years with a narcissist. And you know what they have to show? Resentment, pain, diseases, because they do whatever they want, they hurt you, and you internalize this pain. And your body receives all of this negativity, all of these emotions that a lot of time you have to swallow, that you have to, you know, contain because you don't have an outlet. And sometimes you just battle all of these feelings, all of this negativity. You live with negativity every day. Your body is going to respond to that. A lot of survivors who have stayed long term and even short term have developed a lot of health problems, a lot of health issues, anywhere from, you know, PTSD, from depression, anxiety, uh, sleep apnea, everything, cancer gastritis, abdominal issues, anything and everything you can think of, you can develop from choosing to stay with the enemy because that's what the narcissist is. So please choose yourself. Don't sit and wait on a diagnosis because the time that you sit around and wait, that's wasted time. That's wasted months, that's wasted years of your beautiful life. You have a beautiful life ahead of you. 
Choose yourself. Choose peace. Choose love. Choose to leave this hell behind you because there are better things ahead of you. Trust me. The minute you drop that narcissist and you choose yourself, the universe is gonna give you what you deserve. Listen, this, I'm gonna say this is gonna be the last thing that I'm going to say. Whether you're dealing with a narc, whether you're dealing with a, whether you're dealing with a toxic person, it doesn't matter who you're dealing with. It, it doesn't matter if they're a narcissist or not, okay? When you have given everything into a relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship, friendship, a person in your family, when you have given everything and you know that you have put a lot of love, a lot of energy, a lot of finances, a lot of time, a lot of everything you have into that relationship and those people want to walk away from it all or they want to say that you're doing it for the wrong intentions you don't really love they want to gaslight you because they do that they want to make you believe that you're the one at fault listen anytime that you've given your all every time that you know that you know you've given your best and people crap on that the only thing left for you to do is to walk away you cannot keep pouring love pouring affection pouring resources, pouring your heart into people that shit on you. Don't do it. You deserve the same love that you give. I hope that whoever needed this video was able to get something out of it. I hope that I changed at least one person's mind in regards to waiting for a diagnosis because honey, you're gonna waste your time. Even if you go to therapy, they'll change for a week or two and they'll go right back to their old nasty selves, okay? All right, that was my video for today. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. I hope my video was helpful. I love you guys. Guard your heart, protect your energy. I love you all. Have a beautiful weekend, bye-bye.